Hello everyone and welcome to my April book haul. Um, it's not going to be another very long video I'm afraid so if you maybe want to go get a drink or a snack or something before you sit down and watch it. I did debate doing it in two halves um, but I'm going to try to get it all in one video but that's something I want to ask you guys. Would you prefer me to do long videos in two halves or are you okay watching um, massively long videos? Please let me know. Um, so a lot of these books are Kindle ebooks so um, I got quite a few for review on NetGalley this month and also a lot of the Kindle ebooks were something like 99p on Amazon so obviously I just got those while they were cheap. Um, I do have some physical books to show you as well but I'm going to start with the ebooks. So the first one I got for review on NetGalley this month is Windfall by Jennifer E. Smith. This is a YA contemporary about a girl who has never had all that much luck in her life but for his 18th birthday she buys her best friend slash crush a lottery ticket and he wins um, something like 140 million dollars on it and I think it's just a little YA contemporary about whether winning that amount of money that young is actually a good thing or whether it's actually a hindrance. So it sounds really interesting, certainly a concept I've not read about before in YA contemporary. Um, it comes out at the beginning of May so I will be reading and reviewing this as soon as I can so um, yeah I will let you guys know what I think very very soon. Another book I got for review on NetGalley this month is Flight of a Starling by Lisa Heathfield. Um, I've not I've heard great things about Lisa Heathfield's other book Paper Butterflies apparently she's a beautiful beautiful writer I've not read it um, as far as I know this is about two sisters who are part of a trapeze act in a circus and they're very much a part of this tight-knit traveling circus community and then at one of their stop-offs one of the sisters meets a boy and she wants to stay there with him and I think it's all about how um, she's obviously leaving everything she's always known in this traveling circus in order to be with him so it sounds really really interesting I've not read many circus based books before so um, yeah really excited for this one Another book I got on NetGalley this month is actually already out and that is Tree Magic by Harriet Springbear. As far as I know this is a middle grade fantasy about a girl who can communicate with trees and she has no idea where this gift comes from and then one day I think her mum reveals a family secret that suggests where her gift might come from and I think she starts to question whether it is actually a gift or a curse. I think something bad happens to do with her power so um, yeah it just sounded really intriguing to me so I just thought I would pick it up and as I said it's already out so hopefully I will get to it very soon. Another book I got on NetGalley this month is The Burning Girl by Claire Massoud. As far as I know, this is about two best friends who come from the same hometown and they've always done everything together. And then as they approach their teenage years, one of them starts to take a different life path. I think she starts getting into trouble and things like that. I think it's just basically about whether their friendship can survive this. So just a general coming of age story, probably quite emotional. And um, I think it comes out kind of end of August-ish. So I probably won't be reading this anytime soon, but I will certainly get a review up just before it comes out. Another book I got on NetGalley this month is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. And I think this is about a woman, I think it's an adult book, a woman who leads a perfectly fine life. She's perfectly satisfied with everything she has um, and I think she meets someone who kind of shows her that um, her life actually could be so much happier rather than just fine and mundane and everything like that. Um, so it sounds really good. Apparently it's quite funny as well. So yeah, it sounds like something that I would really enjoy and I think it comes out in kind of mid-May-ish so I will be reading this reasonably soon and getting a review up for this too. Okay, the next Kindle books I actually bought, but all of them were quite cheap. So the first one is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I'm not really sure why I need to tell you why I wrote, um, why I bought this book and why I need to read this book. Um, everyone has been raving about the Netflix series and I've not read the book. So obviously I have to read the book before I watch that series. Um, as far as I know, it's just about this girl who kills herself and she leaves a bunch of cassette tapes on her best friend's doorstep, basically explaining why she killed herself. So um, it sounds really good. I've heard amazing things about the TV series. So yeah, I'm excited to get into this one super soon. Another book I got on Amazon for really cheap this month is A Scrappy Little Nobody by Anna Kendrick and I think this is literally just a series of funny um, autobiographical essays by her. I find her hilarious. I love the Pitch Perfect films. I love her Twitter in particular. It's just absolutely hilarious. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. 
Another book I got on Amazon this month is Nightfall by Jake Halpern and Peter Kujawinski. And as far as I know, this is a dystopian about a um, world where um, nightfall only comes every 28 years, but when it comes, it makes the tide come in like 100 miles. So everyone has to flee the town. And I think just as they're preparing to leave, one of the um, teenagers in the town goes missing and his friends go on a journey to find him, obviously, before nightfall comes so it sounds really creepy um really unique as well so yeah really looking forward to this one Another book I got on Amazon this month is Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall and I think this is a YA contemporary about agoraphobia which is not something I've read about before but I've heard it's a really really well done one. Um, I think it's own voices, it might be own voices, I'm not entirely sure but um, yeah it says there um, the most beautiful yet unflinching depiction of agoraphobia I've ever read by Holly Bourne who is a well acclaimed a British YA author so yeah I'm really looking forward to this one. I don't want to know too much else about it but yeah Another book I got on Amazon this month is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland. And I think this is about a, um, a boy who um, is kind of like a hopeless romantic, but he's never kind of found the right girl for him. So he just kind of throws himself into his studies and his work on the um, school newspaper. And then I think a girl shows up at his newspaper meeting who is um, probably not his type, but he is kind of drawn to her. And I think she kind of learns to... Um, learns a lot about herself and obviously as he falls in love with her she, he learns a lot about himself and just a kind of general YA coming of age um, I think you guys know what I'm talking about but um, it has had some pretty good reviews recently so yeah looking forward to this one too Another book I got on Amazon this month is The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Heilig and this is basically about a time travelling ship and the girl who has lived on this ship all her life and her father is desperate to get back to this particular place in history where um, her mother is but um, if they go back there there is a chance that she will disappear because obviously she wasn't there. So I think it's all about a question of whether they go back to find her mother or whether um, they basically keep her existing existence so sounds really good I've heard really really good things about it and I think a sequel has recently come out as well so um, yeah I absolutely adore that cover it's just absolutely gorgeous so um, yeah I will hopefully get to this one really soon too Another book I got on Amazon this month is The Roanoke Girls by Amy Engel. Um, as far as I know, this is a adult thriller about a girl who has a um, secret in her family. There are a lot of secrets in her family. And then when her cousin goes missing, she returns to the family home and basically just uncovers all of these secrets. Um, sounds like my sort of thing. I think it's, uh, it's, is it a novella or it's either a novella or it's really short. So um, I will hopefully be getting to it reasonably soon just so I can kind of breeze through it but um, it certainly sounds like my sort of thing and I have heard a lot of reviewers giving it um, very very good reviews so yeah and the last book I got on Kindle this month is There Are Monsters Here by Cameron Chaney. Cameron Chaney is actually one of my favourite booktubers. His channel is a book movie guy and this is his first novella and I have read this. I read it last night actually, devoured it. It was gorgeous. I recommend this to anyone who fights real monsters on a daily basis because it was just great it didn't take me very long I read it in literally like 20 minutes or so but it was just a perfect allegory for mental illness and just dealing with your own personal monsters in your past in your present it was just great really really recommend it and he's a great guy as well as I said he's one of my favorite booktubers so yeah please check this out now on to the physical books I got this month. Um, the first one I have already read and that is A Saga Volume 7 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Um, I am loving this series and this one was literally no different. Very emotional cliffhanger ending so obviously there's going to be more volumes which I'm really excited about. If you guys don't know what Saga is it's a kind of sci-fi Romeo and Juliet type situation about a couple who come from opposing sides of a warring planet and its moon and they have a child together and there are various groups of people trying to catch up to them in order to punish them for being together and having this child. It's really really good. Um, I would say that it's probably not for the younger audience because there is some quite graphic violence and sex in it but if you're not sensitive to any of that kind of thing I really recommend picking up Saga because I loved it and loved this latest instalment too. 
The next are two books I actually got in subscription boxes for this month. So the first one I got in my fairy loot and that is Given to the Sea by Mindy McGuinness. I did read out the full um, blurb in my unboxing so I will link that video in the description down below so you can read a little bit more about it. But from what I gained from it I think it's just basically a um, epic YA adventure fantasy story. Um, there's warring sides and all of that. Got a little bit like Game of Thrones kind of vibe to it. Um, so of if you know what I mean so um, yeah maybe listen to me reading out the blurb in my unboxing video if you want to know a little bit more about it Another book I got in a subscription box this month, I got it in my book box club a box for this month, is Hunted by Megan Spooner, and I was really intrigued by this before I got it. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and um, yeah, again, I read out the full blurb in my unboxing for that, so I will link that video in the description down below, but super, super excited for this one, because retellings, fairy tale retellings in general are generally my bag, and this is one of my favourite fairy tales, so I'm really, really hoping to enjoy this one. A book that I was sent directly from the publisher this month um, is Rites of Azatoth by Frank Cavallo and I think this was pitched to me as a kind of Lovecraft, Clive Barker, adult thriller crime type book so it's a kind of myriad of a lot of things um, but as far as I know it's about this FBI agent who has retired and um, the FBI basically encourage her to come back to work after a serial killer escapes from prison and I think her hunt for him takes her into the world of the occult and um, satanic rituals and things like that it sounded really really good in the email that was pitched to me so I will hopefully be getting to it very very soon and yeah it does sound like my sort of thing so yeah Another book that I got this month I mentioned in my last Friday Reads video but I didn't actually get to it this weekend and that is um, Lost in a Book by Jennifer Donnelly. This is an original Beauty and the Beast story. I think this is probably most closely linked to the recent film as opposed to the animated version but um, I'm so so excited and I will definitely be getting to this very very soon as soon as I finish Carve the Mark which I still haven't finished but I will will finish that by my April wrap up I promise you and I will probably be picking this up right after that so yay super excited another book that I got this month is The Nerdy and the Dirty by BT Gottfried and I think I heard about this on Alexa's channel Alexa Loves Books I will link her channel in the description down below I really really love her um, and she made it sound really really good um, I'm not entirely sure what it's about so I will read you the blurb on the same day, unbeknownst to each other, the sexy and popular Penelope Lupo and the nerdy and unusual Benedict Pendleton make two life-changing proclamations. Penelope promises to no longer hide her true thoughts and urges while Benedict vows to end his social awkwardness and find his first girlfriend. Yet Penelope soon realises that expressing her desires comes with risks and Benedict not only gets rejected by every girl he asks out, he also loses his best friend in the process. Though they've been virtual strangers for years, Penelope and Benedict experience several bizarre encounters that leave them confused by their growing attraction, despite the little they have in common. Dragged by their families to the same isolated lake resort over winter break the two find themselves undeniably drawn to each other and set on a course that might just change their lives so it sounds like a kind of YA contemporary about two kids who are com the complete opposite of each other and I guess they discover things so yeah sounds really cool really cute so hopefully I'll be getting to this um, at some point soon another book that I think you probably knew I was going to haul because literally everyone is hauling it this month is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. This is a book that has blown up on booktube recently um it's inspired by the black lives matter movement and pretty much all i know is had some amazing amazing reviews everyone has just raved about it it's about a girl who lives in a not very nice um place and i think she sees her best friend murdered at the hands of a policeman and i think obviously it's just about all of the issues that that raises and it sounds so good obviously i have to read it um hopefully i will, will read it soon um but I feel like maybe I want to wait for the height to die down a little bit so that my expectations aren't um, crazy high. So um, yeah, I will see how I get on with it, but it certainly sounds very, very interesting and certainly very unique. Another book I got this month is Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. Um, I saw a review by um, Fred Weasley Died Laughing. I will link her channel in the description down below. Um, but I have seen it on a couple of other booktubers channels as well. Um, as far as I know, this is about a woman who obviously lies. And um, it says on the front, I'm in a coma. My husband doesn't love me anymore. Sometimes I lie. And 
that sounds like an awesome adult thriller, which might be pretty good for early summer because I tend to like that kind of thing around this time of year. So, um, yeah, really excited for this one too. Another book I got this month is See How They Lie by Sue Woolman. And I think this is about a girl who, um, yeah, she grows up, she's grown, May's grown up at Hummingbird Creek, an elite wellness retreat where teens get the help they need from May's psychiatrist father. The creek monitors every aspect of residents' daily life for optimal health and well-being and everyone must follow strict rules. But after May's caught breaking the rules, she starts to question everything about how she lives and at the creek, asking questions can be dangerous. So, sounds really really intriguing a kind of thriller mystery type book but again this is the kind of thing i tend to be into in summertime so yeah i will see how i get on with that one and the last chunk of books in this book haul i actually got in charity shops or second hand so the first one is a love of mine by jr ward i think this is either book eight or nine in the black dagger brotherhood series i'm collecting these books this is an adult vampire romance so um when i have the first one I will dip into them and hopefully start enjoying vampire fiction because that's something I don't normally like but I've heard really good things about this series so I have four or five of these books now so yeah hopefully I will be able to get the first one soon so I'll be able to start them. Another book I got this month is Lost Girls by Andrew Piper. I saw this on um, Charlie at Duvet Day Devours channel. I will link her channel in the description down below. She made it sound really good. Um, I think it's kind of The Shining-esque. It she said that it's kind of like um Stephen King um so yeah it sounds really really good obviously an adult horror little mass market paperback so I'm not a massive fan of this cover but I just saw it for cheap and it sounded really good so yeah I just picked it up the next one I got in a charity shop is The Black Sheep by Sophie McKenzie and it says on the front someone in your family is lying to you um, on the back it says Francesca was widowed a year ago since then she's focused on her children trying to soothe their grief as well as her own her husband and father never quite saw eye to eye but no one could have cared more for her in the past year than her close-knit family finally she feels she might be ready to move on with life until she's contacted out of the blue by someone who says he must get information to her that her husband's death wasn't what it seemed and that her family know more than they say who can Francesca trust and what will happen to her if she puts her faith in the wrong person so family tragedy family drama family mystery sounds pretty good and I've heard really good things about Sophie McKenzie in general too another book that I got this month is Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll again this is I think in a similar vein so I was obviously in a kind of adult thriller mystery-esque mood this month um the back of this just says um, her perfect life is a perfect lie that's pretty much all I want to know the cover intrigued me as well the black rose and I have seen this book around quite a lot as well so yeah hopefully this will be another book that I really enjoy and the last two books I actually got when I went to visit my university town at the end of March slash beginning of April I had the best time there and I literally want to be back all of the time now but I did go to a couple of charity shops and I picked up two books in there as well so the first one is Nocturnal Animals by Austin Wright and I believe this was recently made into a film maybe last year I know nothing about it but I saw the book picked it up recognized the title I think it is a crime mystery on the back it says many years after their divorce Susan Morrow receives a strange gift from her ex-husband a manuscript that tells the story of a terrible crime an ambush on the highway a secluded cabin in the woods it's a terrifying chiller of death and corruption how could such a harrowing story be told by the man she once loved and why after so long has he sent her such a disturbing and personal message so yeah crime mystery thriller-esque and obviously I want to read this before I watch the film which I think got pretty good reviews too so yeah super excited for this one and the last one guys we got to the end is Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk and I've wanted to read more Chuck Palahniuk for ages I've actually only read Fight Club but I've always been really really intrigued by his books this one in particular was on my Amazon wish list so when I saw it in a charity shop had to had to pick it up I don't know too much what it's about but obviously it's Chuck Palahniuk and obviously the title Haunted sounds like my sort of thing I think it's about a group of people telling ghost stories and then I think one of them starts to come true or something like that they find themselves inside one of these stories something like that um, it's got parental advisory on it so this is obviously definitely an adult book but um, yeah really really excited when I saw this in a charity shop and hopefully I will be able to read more Palanook soon 
And that is it, finally, for my April book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, if you would prefer me in future to do massive long videos in two halves, please let me know. I will leave all of my social media in the description down below. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye-bye.